The scene starts off with Eraser and Bell. Eraser. Hey, Bell. Bell. What's up? Eraser. What's your string attached to? Bell. Oh, he he, I prefer not to tell. Eraser. I want to find out. Bell. It's none of your business. Eraser. I'm gonna find out. Eraser begins to climb Bell, causing her to shake everywhere. Eraser. Climbing noises. Bell. Ah. Ding ding ding. Help alert. I need this eraser off of me. Lee is standing next to Bell. Lee. Whoa, Belly. What's the ruckus? Bell. Eraser's climbing my string and I don't like it. Lee. You have a string? Huh, I never noticed. What's at the top? Bell. Lee, that's not important. Lee starts to climb Bell string. Lee. I've found my next adventure. Climbing noises. Bell. Ding dong ding dong. Somebody get these rascals down. Snowball appears next to Bell. Snowball. I can certainly punch those weak rascals down for ya. Bell. Gee, thanks, Snowball. I knew I'd find some ya. Snowball. As long as you let me up. Snowball points upwards, making the same pose as for in the intro. Bell. Are you kidding me? The intro plays. After the intro. Foldy and Stapy are playing rock, paper, scissors. Foldy. Rock, paper, scissors. Foldy chooses paper, while Stapy chooses scissors. This is because Foldy does not have arms, so paper is the only one she can choose. Foldy. Oh, I lost. Stapy. Looks like I've got a streak going. Marker comes up to them. Marker. Can I join you guys? Foldy. Sure. You know how to play? Marker. Not yet. Foldy. Simultaneously with Stapy, that's fine. Stapy. Simultaneously with Foldy, that's lame. Foldy. Stapy. Foldy. Marker, just throw a hand of rock, paper or scissors and whoever silently farts the most air out while playing wins the game. Marker. I don't think that sounds right. Stapy. Oh come on, Marker, let's just play. Marker. Okay. Foldy, Stapy and Marker. Rock, paper, scissors. Zooms into Marker's hand, which is pointing. Foldy. Marker, did you just point your finger out? That's an illegal move. Let's redo. Foldy, Stapy and Marker. Rock, paper, scissors. Zooms into Marker's hand, which is now in the shape of a house. Foldy. Now you played a house? No good. Foldy, Stapy and Marker. Rock, paper, scissors. Zooms into Marker's hand, which is a hecatonicosahedroid. Foldy. Dodecadanglet. Don't tell me you played the hecatonicosahedroid. Foldy, Stapy and Marker. Rock, paper, scissors. Zooms into Marker's hand, which is in the shape of four. Stapy. Marker. Foldy. Huh? Oh no. Stapy. Don't tell me. Foldy. Marker, why you just played? Stapy. Don't you dare tell me. The camera dramatically zooms into Foldy. Foldy. You played four. Marker's forehand gives itself two eyes and a mouth, and starts growing rapidly. Marker. Whoa. Oh my artist. Marker's hand turns into four. Four. Let's do break at flake. The cake at stake intro plays. Cake at stake. Four. Team Ice Cube, you lost last time, get your feet over here. Donut is the only contestant at Cake at Stake. The pillars come up. 4. MMM Donut, where's the rest of your team? Donut. They're all climbing Bell. The camera zooms out to reveal most of the contestants climbing Bell's string. Donut. Which I frankly find very disrespectful to Bell. Bell. 
Thank you, Donut. There ain't a hole in your logic. Gelatin. PSSH, Donut, you are just a party pooper. Bracelety. Yeah. Gelatin high fives Bracelety, making Bracelety lose her grip on the string. Bracelety. Whoa. Uh. Bracelety falls on top of four and gets stuck on him, making him unable to speak. Four. Mumbles. X. Four said we got 20,254 votes. Four. Screeches. X. I mean, we got, sniff, 20,255 votes. Four. Mumbles happily. Donut. Oh hey, four, I gotta tell you something. Yeah, you forgot to play the cake at steak song last time. You owe it to the viewers to make up for it and play it again now. 4. Reluctantly mumbles. A much more different version of the cake at steak intro plays. Barf bag. Okay, so I know that one of us with the most votes will be eliminated, but who of us is safe? Bracelety. Ice cube. 4. Muffled is safe. Ice cube. Huh? Book. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Ice cubes on Team Bled.svg, and we're not up for voting. X. 4 meant Bombi is safe. Throws cake to Bombi in Barf Bag. Throws cake at Barf Bag, which makes her spin. Barf Bag. Whoa. Uck uck arg. Tries to catch Belle's string but drops a little bit of Barf. She manages to hold on to Belle's string again. A. The barf lands on all of the slices of cake, and X. X. And Nelly. Throws cake to Nelly. Nelly. Catches, falls and lands on Woody. Woody. Faintly, uh, 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 exclamation mark. X. And Fiery Jr. And Spongy. And Donut. A barf-covered cake flies through Donut's hole. It is cleaned by Donut, and is then eaten by Bottle. Bottle. I love cake. Loser elbows cake. Cake. Blushes gasp. Bottom two. Four. Muffled. Die is unknown. PNG. Unknown voice. Translated. X. It's down to Bracelety and Gelatin. Bracelety is on one side of the video and Gelatin on the other. Four seems to do this weird dance. There is a moment of suspense. Donut. Barfy sounding hurry up and tell us who's a oh. I hate my new voice. X. Gelatin survives. Gelatin. Oh yeah. I promise not to throw any more forks, people. X. Bracelet is out. Fiery Jr. Hold on, her name's not Rinny? Fries. Who would have guessed? Bracelet. Wait. Ice Cube's chances of winning just increased. Oh yeah. Her limbs retract into forgo Ice Cube. Yay. Ice Cube, you're my idol. Fast, I love you. Hooray. I'm so happy. I seriously hope you win. You got this Ice Cube. Bracelet's voice then slows down a little to say. Bracelet. You're gonna win this. Bracelet gets sucked into exit. Gaty. Wow, Bracelety went out strong. It's clear. Die is unknown. PNG. Gaty and Pillow. She didn't care. Dash. Gaty. About what others thought of her. Ice Cube appears on screen. She does the same thing Fiery did, but her mouth slightly frowns instead of smirking. Before the challenge. Bell. Lightning, can you zap me? Lightning. Wait, you want to be zapped? Bell. Yeah, cause the shock will travel up my string and zap all those climbers off. Lightning. Well, if you say so. Lightning zap spell, causing everyone climbing her string to fall off. Clock. That's the biggest zaptation I've ever seen. Nelly. Like same, you. The climbers, Robot Flower, Ruby, Barf Bag, Spongy. Fiery Jr., Bombi, Gelatin, Snowball, Lee, and Eraser, 
land on the ground in an arc shape. 4. Today's episode is very special. Spongy. And why is that? X. It's the fourth episode. 4. Make over me. Teardrop comes over with a paintbrush. 4. Pushes teardrop away in a drawing. Or a sculpture. Or however you like. You have 15 minutes. 4. Turn some clouds into a timer begin. Challenge. Teardrop draws the number 4 on a sheet of paper. 4. Well done, bled.svg. Goes to show you don't need frills to make a feast for the eyes. Book. More like, Taco doesn't need to be killed to be deceased in my eyes. Lollipop. Ha, ha, ha. The truest things really are the funniest. Taco. What the heck, was IT really that bad? Golf ball. Teardrops team already finished. Guys. Let's not waste time here. 8 ball. Inhale guys, let's waste time here. TV sets a timer for 14 minutes and 21 seconds, while the cloud timer reads 14 minutes and 30 seconds. Basketball. I'm so glad we listened to 8 ball. Pen. Hey, black hole. Do you think you might be able to? Tree. Let me guess, do the whole challenge for me? You can't just turn off your ballpoint brain and ask this guy every time. A true winner does his research. Tree reads how to solve problems. Tree. Mumbling, if you have a problem, ask Black H. Tree. No longer mumbling, Black Hole, can you draw? Black Hole. No, but I can form a ring of highly compressed gas, known as an accretion disk. Tree. Oh. The scene cuts to Remote and Lee, with Fork strangely circling around Lee. Remote. Oh no. What's this? Lee. I. I think Lollipop's Fork repellent. Wasn't a repellent after all. Lee's gravitational pull sucks Forks from Gelatin's pile of Forks. Gelatin. That's not me. I'm not touching anything. The Forks fly towards Four, but before they hit him. Pillow and Bottle jump into them. Ben, Tree, and Remote also try to protect Four from the incoming Forks. Just before one is about to hit Four, Woody catches it and puts it next to a slice of cake on a plate. Die is unknown. PNG. Unknown voice. Slow down, Snatch. Creative submissions. Woody. Offering the cake to Four, eh? Four. Nice cake over. Beepsters. Shows a messy cake in the shape of four. Four. I wonder how you made it. A flashback begins. Woody is putting frosting on a huge plate canvas, making it into the shape of four. David. Who you yeah Balloony. Oh, I'm sorry, David, master of baking. Sorry our cake doesn't meet your health codes. Rocky. Barfs frosting into bags bullet, bullet, bullet. Nickel. That is so gross. Puts sprinkles on the cake. How can you have a cake without sprinkles? The flashback ends. 4. Mouthful pretty good. Eraser. Hey, 4. Bell. Dings. 4. Ah. Unloads, plop. Eraser. We're ready to show you our steps in what is assumed to be Four's excrement. Marker. Team Free Food Presents. Removes curtain from a tower of yellow face, foldy, fries, puffball and stapy, the year's hottest look. Four. Gasps. Four. Four delightly screeches in satisfaction. Four spews out a flood of hearts. One hits a racer and he flies off beyond the horizon. Eraser. <laughs> Barf bag. Hey four, feast your eyes on this. Cuts to a sculpture of four, made of a bunch of what is assumed to be Bracelet's old ice cube merchandise. Gelatin. It's your new look. It's made of abandoned trash we found lying around. Four. Stops screeching with love hearts. Four. Crafty. And good. Stopping the forks from hitting four. Pen. 
Team Death PACT. What are we gonna do? If any one of us abandons, there won't be enough of us to block the forks. Bottle. Four is gonna fry us. Tree. Wait. Black hole can suck up the forks. Pen. Yelling black hole. Black hole. Remote. Black holes aren't known for their sense of hearing. Bottle. We're doomed. Pillow. Go. Go tell him. Bottle. What? But who's gonna stay and block the four? Pillow. I will. Go, all of you. Pen. But, no. It only takes one person to tell Black Hole to. Pillow. We're all at the limit. If one person leaves, we'll all face an excruciating death. Tree. Pillow, you can't be serious. Pillow. Just go. Tree. Okay, can you stop and drop? Pillow. Go. Pen, bottle, remote and tree run off. They run past 4 and X judging Eance's creation, which is a drawing of 4 on an easel, with Match dressed as flower and Ruby dressed as pencil. 4. What do you think of role play? X. I don't like it. Pen and bottle, black hole. Black hole. Black hole. Black hole. Black hole starts to take notice of pen and bottles yelling. Golf ball. People. Time is running out. Tennis ball. Golf ball. We're just following orders. Bottle. So can you do it? Pen. Can you suck up the forks? Black hole. All right, I'm on it. Golf ball. I got paper. Here are the markers. Eight ball. There are the crayons. Grassy takes the cap off of an orange marker. Golf ball. Uh, go down. Eight ball. Up. Golf ball. Uh, up. Eight ball. Down. Golf ball. Right. Eight ball. Left. Golf ball. Left. Eight ball. Right. Golf ball. Down. Eight ball. Up. Golf ball. Up. Eight ball. Down. Grassy continues to follow eight balls orders instead of golf balls. Black hole. Hang in there, pillow. Pillow fails to block a fork. It then cuts to a better name than that. Golf ball takes a marker and starts drawing, while the other members try to hold her back. Die is unknown. PNG. All Abnet members except Grassy and Golf Ball. Treason. 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 Tree. I'm in what? Pen takes off his cap and draws something on a paper. Pen. Done. The non blocked fork then hits Pen's paper, causing it to fly away. Cut to Black Hole continuing to suck up the forks, and to Lee. Lee. Bell's string. Bottle, holding on to Bell's string, catches Pen's paper. The winner is determined. 4. Looking at Death PACT's drawing, which is a realistic number 4. I'm not sure what to think. Pen. I'm sure it's the best one yet. Right, guys? The recommended characters appear in two rows, one facing opposite from another side yelling angrily at Ben. Pen. Huh? No, no. That wasn't the intended result. Zmad. This is the worst one yet. 4. Team better name, time's up. If it's better than death PACT, then you're safe. But if it's not. Remote. Then you'll be up for elimination. 4 examines a better name than that's drawing. 4. MMMM. MMM. Looking worried, Tree puts his arm around Ben, who pushes him away. 4. Looking wide-eyed at the drawing, MMMM. Pen grabs Tree's arm and puts it back around him. 4. Another name than that barely wins. X. Death PACT, exactly one of you is going to go. X. Mutters under breath not really a death pact, is it then? Pen. 
it's an acronym. Cut to the losers, standing around a paper mache X. What? Better than ours? X. Muffled help. Loser. It's okay. I didn't like paper mache anyway. A flashback showing a group of objects repeatedly kicking a paper mache with loser inside, laughing maniacally. Golf ball. We almost lost. This is bad. Eight ball. We almost won. This is Guno, we nearly lost, and this is my fault. Golf ball. Gasps eight ball. You're not a completely useless moronic dumb robot. Die is unknown. PNG. Eight ball and robot flower. Thanks. Flashback showing a better name than that on the swing from the last episode. Eight ball. I, I thought I was helping you. Golf ball. What? Eight ball. Everything I said. It was in a sarcastic tone. I wanted to add some humor. To lift the spirits of our team. Sniffs and whales I don't have a favorite number. Golf ball. Oh, eight ball. See, guys? Basketball. Do you hear something? Blocky. Yeah, it sounds kinda like someone who disrespects people. Tennis ball. I don't want to disrespect Grassy. Robot flower. Guys. Even eight ball himself sigh. TV. Why are you talking? You're a machine. Cut to voting screen. 4. Vote in the comments using the letter and square brackets under who deserves to be eliminated. Whoever gets the most votes will leave the show. Stinger. Cut to Stinger. It is now nighttime, and Teardrop is sitting on the ground. Hi Teardrop. Even though my story might not be super interesting to you, I decided I'll tell it anyway. So it all began when I was a baby egg. You know, an egg inside of an egg. Exception, if you will. It was very cozy, and at that moment, I realized I was pretty content. I had everything I needed. I didn't need to complain for more. So I thought, why shout? Why even say anything? As you see, that's how I, as a small egg, never really spoke much, and blah blah blah.